The Arsoja Green Solutions team is composed of six SFU undergraduate students, an equal split of computer, electronics, and systems engineers. We have developed the Green Clerk, an automated garbage and recyclable sorter. The motivation behind our project was to create a product that would have a positive sustainable impact and provide an effective solution to an existing problem. The Green Clerk aims to implement a more effective recycling system than those that currently exist. Current recycling systems fall into either single stream or multi stream systems. While single stream systems experience greater user participation, multi stream systems result in higher final recycling accuracy. By providing a single stream user interface that automatically separates recycling into its different types, the Green Clerk aims to capture the benefits of both single stream and multi stream recycling systems to make recycling a more efficient process overall. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, SFU moved away from in-person instruction. As a result, our group had to complete our POC demo individually and through virtual means. Here you can see our group collaborating over our weekly Zoom call. Prior to the COVID-19 situation, all group members were equally participating in various aspects of the project. However, certain group members focused on different tasks, like Osama and Anissa actively took part in the computer vision portion. Sumaya and Richard focused on mechanical, and Amnit and Jasmine worked on the electronics and power distribution aspect of the project. Due to COVID-19, we had to adapt to change and modify our scope for proof of concept demo. As agreed upon with our instructor, we would no longer mount the classifying bin to the rod as it required more than one person to physically complete the task, violating provincial and federal health guidelines. During the integration of our proof of concept assembly, our solenoid lock burnt out and it was difficult to purchase a new one in this global pandemic. Again, as per our instructor's instructions, we decided to not pursue this task at the current moment. The total cost of Green Clerk's proof of concept assembly came to a grand total of six hundred fifty Canadian dollars. We plan to use almost all electronic and mechanical components from our POC in our engineering prototype. Some additional cost was endured due to COVID-19, but the group still feels that it stands in a financially healthy position. In the following videos, you will see Anissa working and debugging our capacitive sensor issues, Richard mounting ultrasonic IR and solenoid onto the bin, Osama integrating all electronic, software, and mechanical parts for the final assembly. So currently the inductive sensors are mounted and those are working just fine, but the capacitive sensors we're having issues with, they seem to be interacting with each other, so when they should be off, they're actually showing like they're on. Um, if I run my finger along to see what they detect, you'll see that sometimes they just stay on even though my finger's been removed. Um, and some are just always on. So I've been trying to play around with the spacing. So I tried adjusting the spacing just of the capacitive sensors that were always staying on. Alright, so we're going to use a glass object and test the capacitive sensors. Seems to be working. So now we're testing the inductive sensors with the metal bottle. You can see there's no problem with these turning on. Then all items were transported to Richard's house for him to proceed with his part of the integration. Now it's time to get the servo connected to the rod. All right, the motor is attached back to the rod here. Now it's time to deal with the bin. There's not a lot of room at the bottom here to add it down there. So I believe I'm going to add it up top here. Okay, so the solenoid is attached now. Both ultrasonic sensors are now attached. I'm now testing the ultrasonic in the holes that we drilled previously to see that that crossbar does not interfere with the ultrasonic. Uh, you can see it's reading 35 centimeters, which is roughly the height of the bin. Okay, so the IR sensors are hooked up now. You can see one up top and one at the bottom there. Uh, here's the setup here. And you can see that currently nothing is being detected. If I stick my hand here, you can see that it is currently detecting my hand. And if I take it away, it stops. All right, so here is the bin mounted at an angle with the weight sensor underneath. Finally, everything was transported to Osama for integration and our final demo. So we have the system on and we'll be testing a glass item. 
We insert the glass item. System detected the glass item. It moved the pin to where it's supposed to be. The relay is on. So the, supposedly the door should be open by now. You can see the item dropped. Then we close the door again. So now we'll be testing plastics. We go, system is running. We insert this plastic item. Item detected this plastic, went back to, went to recycle. And the relay, we can see the relay here. Okay, relay. Solenoid's not working. I have to open up the door by myself. Close the door. Right, and done. So I have some paper here. We'll throw it into the system and see how the system reacts. Okay. Okay, paper. Yeah, system detected its paper and moved to the paper. And the relay is on, you can see. I'll insert a metal object. Right, it moved to recyclables because metal goes recyclables. The relay is on. You guys, I think we should end this off with a high five. Yeah. <laughs>